we're headed to Montana. This will be the sixth backpack elk hunt I've been on, and still have never shot an elk. We were in the same area in September with our bows, where my dad was able to bag a nice 6x6 six six bull. Hopes run high as we get in the back country and are met with our first two days full of cold and wind. At the end of the second day, we catch a break and spot two bulls coming out in the bottom of a meadow we were watching at last light, and I was blessed to be able to put down a killing shot in the second one. We just shot an elk. Yeah, we did. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. Dude! I know, it's freaking awesome! Dude! Yo! Two kill, he's got a kicker on each side. I know. I know. Dude, that is insane. <laughs> Yo! Let's go! That's what I'm talking about right there! Yeah, on the ground! We stand and admire this amazing beast and met with all. Is it possible that I have actually shot an elk after all these years of hard work? It's been so long of hunting them without getting them that I can hardly believe that I've actually shot one. Maybe that's part of it. The challenge and the way they elude you so many times, time after time, I think that's part of the reason why I love chasing these animals. The rest of the week we hunt hard and are met with very cold temperatures, snow almost every day, and elk encounters that are so close but just can't quite close the deal on. It sucks pretty bad when you wake up in the tent and everything's frosty, move around with ice falling down on you. Okay, how cold? Uh, between 10 and 15 degrees. Okay. Um, keeps sailing better and better each night. <laughs> Our last morning was very cool. We hunted over a meadow in the morning and then went down to pack on the last part of my elk. As we strapped it on, moments before we loaded it all up and headed out for the last time, we heard a bugle just over the hill. I'm sneak up that tree hiding. They're not gonna come around this top here. They're going up in. Yeah. I realized quickly that the only way we we're gonna get a shot is if we can get to the tree at the top of the knob before we get spotted. He's going up the back. You hit him, you hit him. Strapping my bull wanted to pack out for the final time.
He's not breathing. Pick him up. Pick him up. <laughs> Going straight to where the tree we were we were at this morning. We were literally at. Yeah. We were like on that tree right there, sitting all morning. Here they came down the ridge. But they were bugling. They bugled, and they hadn't. We would never known to. We're walking up here and probably spooked them. I shot, and I the way he took off, I knew. I well, I knew you hit him from square one. Mile 18 for the day. Emerson Goodman packing out two elk. One day, they keep grinding. That's what you want. Seven quarters going out. Seven quarters going out at once. At this point, we're 20 miles deep in the day of packing out. And we'll be 22 till it's over. Hopefully. Yeah. Sean, he's got behind in the front. Quarter. Here comes Ivy. He's got two hinds and trimmings. And I have um, a hind and two fronts. Our 24 mile pack out, two bulls, is over. And we're ready to be at the truck. After a long day of packing out, we were very tired. This hunt will not be one that is soon forgotten. 